Steve Jobs once said, iPad is the magical window into the future. But what if you could use your iPad for more than just watching, reading, or listening? In this video, you will discover what is Night Shift, how to scan a QR code from Control Center, track flights and spotlight search, or even change your home screen from this to this, or maybe something more minimal like this. And everything will take no more than 5 minutes of your time. Start the timer. And the first thing you've got to do is customize your control center. Spoiler, it can do much more than adjust your volume or brightness. For example, you can add a quick note button to instantly capture any thought, record audio or even scan a document. The same goes for the QR code scanner, screen recording or even the low power mode button, which is a huge time saver. But that's not the only thing you can do with control center. How cool is that? After iPadOS 18, it was separated into different sections, which you can use to organize your controls for different kinds of work. For example, you can create a productivity section, where it's handy to keep controls that make your workflow faster. Moving to the home screen, which is without a doubt, the most important part of the entire system. First of all, you've got to choose the perfect icon layout. After iPadOS 18, you have four options. Light, dark, clear or tinted. But here comes the pro tip. If you want your icons to adapt automatically based on light or dark mode, select dark icons and turn on auto mode. This way they will change with the mode you're using. Also, you can remove unused apps for a more minimal look by holding an app, selecting options, edit home screen, tapping the minus icon, remove from home screen. Another thing you need to do is change your wallpaper to a more professional option. By that I mean very high resolution wallpapers which you can find for free on websites like Basic Apple Tech Guide. Not sponsored. But I wish it was. They provide a huge variety of gradients, strokes or even minimalistic landscapes like this one. To complete your home screen setup I suggest adding a few widgets. However, what most people don't know is that you can customize them as well. All you have to do is hold a widget and select Edit Widget. Then you will be able to access settings that are unique to each app. For example, Craft app lets you change the widget background so it better matches your setup. And just like that you can experiment with different layouts and icon styles to achieve the perfect look. By the way, if you are finding this video useful, consider subscribing to my channel down below to not miss a new video. Thank you. Now let's move to more advanced things, starting with multitasking. With iPadOS 26, iPad received a new window management option, allowing you to move windows just like on Mac. To use it, open any app, drag the bottom right corner and resize the window. Now you've got these three tiny traffic light buttons just like on Mac. You can move apps to the edges of the screen, minimize them or fully close them with these buttons. But if you prefer the default full screen layout, go to settings, multitasking and gestures and select full screen to bring all the old gestures back. And since we're already here, let's adjust some other settings. For instance, if you're using full screen mode, you can customize quick actions, which activate when you swipe from the corners. You can use this to capture a quick note or take a screenshot instantly. Now let's move on to display and brightness settings, since your eye health is important too. Speaking of eye health, there is a setting called Night Shift, which makes your iPod screen colder in daylight and warmer at night. Studies say it helps your eyes rest before sleep and reduces eye strain. Another thing you can customize here is liquid glass. You can make it either clear or tinted. Clear for a more glassy look, tinted for something closer to traditional interfaces. Finally, let's go through 10 of the most powerful things your iPad can do, and I bet you didn't know half of them. Firstly, if you don't like having a lot of notifications on your lock screen, you can set up a scheduled summary which combines all non-urgent notifications into one group. You can check anytime. Next tip is about your privacy. If you have a lot of apps using your location, you can view them all in one place, in Settings, Privacy and Security, Location Services, where the pink arrow shows apps that have recently accessed your location. Also in Share My Location, you can choose which of your family members sees your location and which device is shared. Now the truly mind-blowing tips that make your iPad a productivity machine. Number one is that you can convert currencies right inside the search bar. You can even multiply, subtract, add or divide different currencies. Second one is tracking flights by simply typing the flight number to see everything about it. 
including the rival time, also in Spotlight Search. Third one is adding newly downloaded apps to the app library instead of the home screen so they don't clutter your setup. Fourth one is enabling show grid and camera settings to make your recordings look more professional. And the final tip is copying text from photos by selecting it and tapping copy. However, if you want to discover more things your Mac can do in addition to your iPad, there is a video over here in which I will show you exactly that. I will hopefully see you there. Thanks for watching this one.